Okay, just a heads up, uh, strong language content in this video. Strong language, I'm gonna take off a watch, I'm gonna give Garmin any shout outs, getting rid of the uh, Garmin product soon. Um, strong language content, fuck, I'm just reading, uh, I, don't think, I don't think I can hear him in the library, I'll be swearing, but um, Doug Lyle, Dr. McDougall, people I, I rate with some great information, don't agree with everything, just as not everyone agrees with me, but there's there's one thing they, they didn't have the ball with. They didn't drop the ball. They never had it to start with this one. Uh, Doug Lyle and McDougall say they linked a study and said, our data indicate that contrary to received wisdom, humans tend to burn the same number of calories regardless of how physically active you are, which means it doesn't matter how much exercise you do per day. You're not going to burn any more calories than your set limit of they say I think 2,500 or 3,000 calories a day, a man, that, I, I could be fucking wrong on this. I could be totally wrong that uh, McDougal and Lyle said this. If I'm wrong, let me know and I'll make a follow-up video. But they say, I'm assuming, they say that a man can burn no more than 3,000 calories a day. It doesn't matter if you're a Tour de France rider. It doesn't matter if you take a shit ton of drugs. It doesn't matter if you're fucking like one of those steroid head bodybuilders. Lifting all day, it doesn't matter if you're riding across Australia on an indie pack, you can't burn more than 3,000 calories a day. And if you're a girl, you can't more than burn 1,900 calories a day. Let me know if I'm wrong there. So Sarah Hammond, when she rode across Australia on about 300k a day, did she burn more than 1,900 calories a day? According to them, you don't. it's impossible to burn more than 1,900 or 25 or 3,000 calories a day. So when I go and ride 600 k's in a day, I don't need to eat more than 3,000 calories. And if I get hungry, why, am, why is that? <laughs> I'm like, fuck, man. Did I get it wrong? Vegan foot soldier, can you chime in here? Crazy. I mean, there weren't the scandal, the ice cream thing with Bonnie and the high fructose corn syrup, that over the moo, they have high fructose corn syrup in their ice cream. And I like it. It tastes great. I've got no issues with high fructose corn syrup. But, uh, but contradict at it again. I lost five kilos drinking only Sprite, someone just said. This is where I'm get a better angle. Look at the mad scientist. Um, but uh, this is, I don't know what the fuck's going on in this, this world we live in. This, this is a fucking, a fruit bat world, man. That's not gonna work. We'll just hold it down there. Um, oh my God, some of the shit people say these days. Like, what do they say? Let me know, the people, am I, have I got this totally wrong? Have I got this totally wrong? Hold the Oakley's there. Have I got this totally wrong? You know? Norman Gunston. <laughs> What's up? What's Norman Gunston up to these days? Um, have I got this totally fucking wrong? Did Doug Lyle and McDougal say that? Because I'm reading the link. I'm reading the link here that says that. Humans tend to burn the same number of calories regardless of how physically active they are. Humans tend to burn the same amount of calories regardless of how... You know what I mean? They incompetently, inco like, how the fuck does that, you know what I mean? Does, like, Ultra Matt even sent me the link. Where'd you send me the link? Um, it's, ins it's insane. You know, <laughs> like, Matt, that means we can, you know, I mean, my basic metabolic rate is probably about 1,900 calories a day. That means I can live on 19 bananas a day and punch out 500 Ks a day. I, I wish that was possible and not lose any weight. You know what I mean? Like, fucking hell. It is just insane. It is insane. And that's what we, we have, that these, these, these people who do some good shit, but then they, they really lose so much credibility saying something like that. Um, it's crazy, man. You know, all someone has to do is ride across Australia. You know? May you imagine the wall you'd hit daily basically if you could only burn 3,500 cows a day. Like, that, 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 oh, man, this is just like... Dumb. And where's where's all the McDougal writers out there? You know, where's all the people out there who say that, that everything those guys say is gospel? Where are they? Can they can they can they chime in please here and explain why their gurus are saying that stuff? Now I definitely rate a lot of Doug Lyle and McDougal stuff. You know, but they do they do uh, the reason why I promote them is because they had that doctor word in front of them. McDougal's not even a vegan. McDougal only he eats meat. But when people say, I want, a, I want a doctor to tell me, then I'll say, go go look at McDougal stuff. So yeah, um, it, it is crazy. McDo Dr. McDougal eats meat. 
I'm not trolling here. This is his own words. All right? It's not slander or make up any rumors. Dr. McDougal eats meat. Spread it around. Ask him. Ask him. Um, it's angry vegan said you don't need to eat anything or throw in the K ride. You know? Um, he refers to, he may refer to people who don't do No, no, he's got a link here. Our data indicates that contrary to received wisdom, humans tend to burn the same number of calories regardless of how... So I could sit behind this desk all day, I'm going to burn the same amount of calories as if I'm racing for fucking four hours a day and then I'm going to do a six-hour ride on top of that. I'm going to burn the same amount of calories as sitting here in the chair to stare at the wall. I'm going to burn the same amount of calories talking to you guys as if, I just sit, if, I, if I'm just sitting in the chair with my eyes shut. Bullshit. It's bullshit. McDougal eats meat. That should be another video. Um, does Michael Bisping take gear? Come on, guys. If you have to ask that question, you know the answer. Um, why would McDougal eat meat? Because his program ain't sustainable. Mine is. You feel deprived on that. You can't have more than two pieces of fruit a day. I'd fucking eat figsy if that. I would, I would fucking eat figsy if I couldn't eat more than two pieces of fruit a day. That's why figsy runs. That's why figsy's scared of me. She, she saw a Dr. McDougal book on the shelf of my book, book stash and she's like, fuck, if Duran doesn't eat enough fruit, he's going to fucking eat me. Look at my little skinny fucking pencil neck. Anyway, Sprite makes you fat though. Fucking morons. Fucking morons. Um, a steroids are a problem in the NHL. Steroids are a problem everywhere. Power and speed and strength are essential. They're essential. Get a Sprite cycling kit. Promote more soft jeans. <laughs> um, you know. They mean your baseline calorie requirements don't change your exercise. That's what I mean. You know, which is bullshit, man. Which is bullshit. I can't maintain 500 Ks a day because my body will be like just burnt out. You know, or four, 300 k's a day is realistic. I could ride 300 k's a day with minimal fatigue, but I wouldn't be able to do that because I get too lean. I lose too much body fat. You know, simple as that. But that's what I mean. Like it's it's a crazy world. But um, you know, I can't believe they said that. Humans tend to burn the same amount of calories regardless of how... That's just dumb. That's just dumb. This is just so dumb. This is just so dumb. These, these fucking gurus out there. So I want to see all the McDougal lovers, all the people who say, Harley's wrong, McDougal says this. Bonnie, where the fuck is Bonnie on this? Where the fuck is Joey Carps from? Where are the people who like, are up on McDougal's back like a little, little pygmy, <laughs> pygmy hunter... Saying, McDougal, yeah, take down Dune Rider. Like, okay, guys, explain the, uh, the, 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 the mentality here, what's going on here. Explain that, please. You know? Explain that, guys. Where, like, you know, you guys are just writing up everything that McDougal says is gospel. Even though McDougal's not even a fucking vegan. You know, you use McDougal as leverage. I hardly wrong because McDougal says this. Okay, great, that's your opinion. But explain why McDougal eats meat because he's a program and sustainable. Explain why no athletic people can follow his program in 2012, in 2017 because it ain't sustainable. You know, not having more than two pieces of fruit a day. Fuck, man, that's starvation nation. Eating oats for breakfast is heavy, gluggy. You know? And, and McDougal, said, McDougal does the thing of, I eat meat once a year. Mate, you don't eat meat once a year. You're eating more than that. You know, it's just like me saying, oh, once a year I smoke cigarette. It's like, come on, why? Why would you do that? Oh, I don't want to be associated with non-smokers. Bullshit. Bullshit. You know, I think McDougal does some great work. You know, I've was, I was, I promoted him more than anyone has on the internet that's not financially associated with him. So I'm not trashing. I'm just being objective, honest, transparent as I do. If you're going to ride McDougal's back, Fair enough, but you have to stand by him when he makes these allegations and explain, justify that, and sure, share your opinion. Maybe you disagree with it, people. But I want to see the, the McDougal lovers, the McDouglers, I want to see him explain um, humans tend to burn the same number of calories regardless of exercise. Like, you know? And I could be totally wrong. I could have just read this whole thing wrong. And if that's the case, I'll make a video and apologise. I'm not scared of being wrong. I'm not scared of apologising. 
but I want to give the best information out there, legit, transparent. You know? Um, I consume a diet of extremely high fructose content, yet my blood sugar level is completely normal. That's because sugar, uh, fructose, sorry, is metabolized by liver. Fructose doesn't require insulin to be metabolized. Google it up. Ask McDougall. He will even tell you. Refined sugar increases insulin sensitivity. McDougall says that. Where are the people who always want to knock me? Where are they, where are they when McDougall says that white refined sugar increases insulin sensitivity? Where are they when that, when that gets said? You know what I mean? Why is there such a personal bias with some people against me? What have I done wrong to these people? You know? <laughs> what a fucking crazy world, man. What a fucking crazy world. Um, they spend two hours taking Instagram posts. Unfortunately, it's probably true. Oh. Doesn't make sense on any level. Even variants and biomechanics will determine how much energy is used. Exactly. You know, like, if I, if I run a mile, I burn less calories than Joe Beast. Someone said Joe Best. Does it actually, his name's Joe Beast. Obese, Joe Beast. Obese, Joe, Joe Beast. If Joe Beast runs a, a K to KFC, he, he, if he left his wallet at KFC, he's got a, you know, waddle back. You ever seen a pear run? That's what it looks like. Um, a pear out of jelly. So he's got to go back to KFC, Chang Mai, to pick up his wallet run back out. He's going to burn more calories than if I left my wallet at the, you know, the vegan store and then go back and pick it up. You know? He's going to burn more calories because he weighs more. He has a, a, a greater need for calories. That's why he's going to fail every time he does starving. You know? Anyone who tries to sell you boxed ramen isn't looking out for your health. Seriously, McDougal. Well, I, 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 I like that ramen. I'll be honest with you. I like it. It does have refined sugar in it. You know, <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. This is, I mean, this whole ice cream scanner with Bonnie, it, it, it does, you know, Bonnie's like, refined sugar's bad. McDougal is bae. McDougal sells refined sugar in his noodle box, you know. <laughs> What's going on, people? What's going on? What's going on, man? People need to get more carbs. Um... They hate you because you don't act like your money worth. You shouldn't mingle with peasants, according to the Bon Bon & Co. law. Interesting. All right, serious question now from Felix. 1146 cassette says one by 11 only. Angry Vedan ordered one for you and me. Well, our Felix, I reckon we're going to tell Shimano, we're going to tell them what time it is, and we're going to try it out, or they're going to fucking tell us what time it is, and we'll be wrong. So either way, we'll be, uh, be able to sell it to some, someone out there. We'll just become 46 cassette snake oil sellers and we'll just say to someone, yeah, you can use a 2 by 10 We'll get their money and do a runner. Like some of those scammers out there. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? So someone said the other day, Emily, what does she do with all Patreon money? Um, not Emily Hunt, the, the bite-sized vegan girl on YouTube because people say she looks like a heroin addict, blah, 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 blah. And that's just people's opinion. There's no proof of that. It's a speculation. I would say myself being a drug user in the 90s, and hanging out with other heavy, heavy drug users in the 90s, that look for me is just someone abusing narcotics that probably opiates such as heroin, in my opinion. So there seems to be a, an issue of people taking people's money for, for you know, various reasons, Patreon, asking for donations, Dr. Evil, six and a half thousand dollars you know, that Joe Vegan guy taking it for some animal sanctuary. All these people take, oh, oh, give me my money, vegan community. I'm like, really cool. Like, give me your money. And then showing no receipts where it went. I'm lying about it, you know. What, 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 what's going on with that? That's, I think that's really unethical. I think it's really unethical. Can I put a 28 on my CAD 12? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Do some blood doping for the lols. Oh, Figsy said she would donate a pint you know, processed junk is processed junk. No, it's not because a Big Mac is processed junk, a Cliff Bar's processed junk, but a Cliff Bar's got a lot of healthy good stuff in it. You know, Cliff Bar ain't gonna make you obese. Fucking Big Mac will. Both are processed junk. One contributes to fucking deforestation, animal cruelty. Big Mac, they should call it the Big Cruelty, and the other one's a Cliff Bar with fucking oats and raisins and fucking syrup and shit. It's good stuff. Or processed junk could be sugar cane juice. You put a beetroot and a carrot fruit juice, it's now processed junk to some. Orthorexic, fruitarian, putarian, breatharian smokers out there. Do you know how many fruitarians I've met who actually smoke cigarettes? 
or even eat KFC. It's insane. Um, any sugar products that are 100% glucose, yeah, you can go to glucose, get from your local uh, pharmacy, glucose powder. When is it a bad time to drink soft drink? It's never a bad time, but let it fizz out because it can fuck up your teeth, man. The, the carbonic acid, you know. Flexitarian, good or bad, get committed, go vegan. And, and, and do a fucking carb, um, do a carb, carb load every fucking day. Ultra Matt says, when are you going to do a, a video on Gary V's personal trainer? What's the deal? What, what's the deal with him? What's the deal with him? How about palm sugar? The poor freaking orangutans, man. I'll tell you what, Mr. Loco, mate, those monkeys are fucked. The world is fucked. Everyone's fucked. All we're doing is fucking up every day. We are the dumbest creatures on the planet. We're the only creatures that destroy our environment. You know? We're the only creatures that destroy our environment. There's no hope for the future. I hate to be pessimistic and that, but no one needs you to tell me how it is. I'm telling you how it is. This planet is fucked up. The vegan community is fucked up. Everyone's out for money and fame and fucking panty sniffing and all this crazy shit. And it's all fucked up. And if we can't even get our shit together, us vegan crew, Gary Oroski sold out. Back on the couch with bombs. Yeah, what a disgrace. Taking that money from his sponsors and then doing nothing with it but spend on drug money. Bite sized vegan looks like a heroin user, addict, whatever you want to call it, in my opinion. What's going on, man? You know, it's crazy. It's crazy. I have to fucking pay lawyers to get my vegan forum back. Me eating lawyers just to get my fucking forum back. You know, it's just, it's fucking, what a crazy fucking world, man. We've got no future. So the orangutans, I feel sorry for them. Because there's not, nothing that's going on, man. It's, it's, you go to, want to see orangutans? Go see them now. Because they ain't going to be around in a couple of years' time. That palm oil thing, biodiesel. People aren't going to drive their fucking, stop driving cars. And that's where the biodiesel's going. That's where the palm's going. The palm sugar isn't going for a couple of vegans that have their palm sugars in their banana smoothie. Because they read Peter Bonnie's e-book, Carbolicious, added sugar to your smoothies. Um... That's not going to fuck up the environment. What's fucking up the environment is we breeding more and more and more. People need to drive a car to the shop and they're going to go buy diesel. So we're going to go fuck the rainforest. We need fuel to drive our cars to KFC. Even if you've got vegans driving their cars to the shops. Ride bikes, man. Driving cars is cooked. Riding bikes is raw. It's real. Do what you can. Ride more. Drive less. You know? All cars should be hydrogen fueled. Electric. Cars fucking kill. Even electric cars kill people, man. I'm all for that. It's a better option, but why are we driving cars? You know, you should be able to have to, like, cars should be like a last resort. I opened for today, we went going to buy this big 15 kilo pumpkin. And I said to her, we should get your car and pick it up. And on the way back, I'm thinking, fuck the car. We could kill someone picking up a pumpkin. I'm going to go back in the bike and pick it up, being the trailer. You know? Cars is a place, but, you know. Less driving is better. Single speed mountain bike. Eh, gears for me, bad boy. Coming up one year vegan, soon feeling better than ever. Good to hear. And I, I hate to be a downer. You know, I hate to do all down and shit, but I, I like to tell people the fucking truth, man. Because too many people walking around with their eyes closed. You know? Electric, here we go, electric fucking bicycles. Hydrogen powered bicycles, 1,000 watt. But you know, 50k an hour, the speed limits and the motherfuckers kill themselves. You know? Show me your five closest friends, I'll show you your future. That's a good idea. Fucking hammers, man. You know, it's a fucking crazy world out there. Walk around with fucking hammers as fucking self protection. Fucking hell, man. We have kids in this crazy world. Fuck that. Can you imagine having a kid today and then 20 years time, what's, how fucking hectic it's going to be? Wow. I don't envy the parents of today. What should you eat after riding? Went 30 miles today, burnt 1,100 calories. Well, I'm not sure what to eat after a ride. Just something sweet and juicy and vegan, motherfucker. Get some fruit, get some tin fruit, get some frozen fruit. Put a bit of sugar in there, a bit of water, blend it up. So it's sickly sweet, drink that. First drink a liter of water. Drink that, have a nap, go get to work. You know, just get the simple sugars in. Why did Mark Beaumont stop being veg? 
it's not all hard being big enough to brainwash program. It 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 is just he he was a calorie restrictor man, and you could tell how big he got. He, he got fat ish, right around the world in world record time. How do you, how do you ride around the world and get fatter? Because you're calorie restricting beforehand. How can I make the transition to vegan? Just up your standards, do it. It's easy, man. Fruit, rice, corn, sugar, Sprite. Just fucking smash it in, man. Vegan food's everywhere. Carb the fuck up, get it done. Never calorie restrict. Never listen to any of these pussies who tell you to eat less. Because all of them, all of them are prisoners to their own mind. None of them are living the lifestyle they want to live. None of them have the freedom I have. They could have it, but they don't want it bad enough. So they starve themselves and they become prisoners of their own self beliefs. Never fucking carb restrict. Ever. Unless you want to be a prisoner of the status quo, a prisoner of the system. Or prisoner of your own self beliefs. That's the worst, man. Just being a prisoner of the fucking mirror, a prisoner of the scales, a prisoner of all that shit. None of it's worth it, man. Been there, done that. Fuck that. Why don't you calorie restrict so you can gain weight for Indie Pack? Well, apparently, according to Dr. McDougall and Dud Lyle, you don't need to because you can only burn 3,000 calories a day. <laughs> Fucking clowns, man. Oh. Is it healthy to go to light ketosis from time to time? Going to ketosis is a great idea if you want to gain fat. Dip into ketosis, do a water fast, don't under-eat. Go into ketosis, it'll help you gain fat long term. Look at Fully War Christina, did a water fast a year ago. Fast forward to today, boom. I don't think she's fat, I think she looks good, but she's a lot heavier than she wants to be. She did a water fast. Year, year on, boom, there's your results there. 99.9% of the time. Who's behind the anti-sugar agenda? Rockefellers, who, who, World Bank, who knows? But what it does is it makes people snitchy and bitchy and want to fight each other. And for themselves, because they're not going to have sweetness. They're anti-fruit, anti-sugar, anti-rice, anti-carb. Don't eat white rice. You can eat fruit, not one, two pieces a day. Don't have any sugar on your food. Drink Diet Joke. Diet juice, Diet Sprite, Diet Coke. What a joke. I just walked past one of them all. There's a Coke lady fucking handing out Coke, a cola. No one's even really taking it for free. I was like, fuck it. I was drinking Coke. That's Thunderbird ginger beer. I'll be fucking all over there like a Joe Best on a Smarty. You know? But... And it's got, they've given the Diet Coke, the fucking Coke Zero, the Coke Life, whatever it's called, with Sprite, uh, Stevia in it. Coke with Sprite in it. Oh my God, it's just insane. It's insane, man. Where's doing what I'm right now in Adelaide. But it's a crazy world, crazy world. Um, I think McDougal is speaking about 99% of humans, not elite athletes. No, if you're going to give advice, it has to be for anyone to take, all right? Anyone. And the quote they says, humans, didn't say elite athletes, didn't say sedentary lazy fucks sitting on the sofa. It said humans tend to burn the same number of calories regardless of how physically active we are. I've got it highlighted here. One more time. Humans tend to burn the same number of calories regardless of how physically active they are. Now, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but let me know. Um, McDougall said that. McDougal McContradict went full retard when he said, I don't like that word retard, but he went full crazy when he said he only recommends a tablespoon of sugars, then he shows a book saying three quarters of a cup of sugar, you know, to his brownie recipe it was. What are the best cemeteries in Australia camping, whatever, whichever one you like, you know? They, they definitely contradict, don't they? Give me some questions on this exercise stuff. I burned 12, 12 to 14,000 calories during a 100 mile ultra. My weight never went down. Good. If you finish an ultra marathon and you didn't weight went down, you didn't eat and drink enough. Your weight should be more when you finish. If you say you weigh 100 kilos to an ultra and you come back at 100 kilos, you probably didn't drink enough and eat enough during that ultra. You should gain weight during an ultra. You know. Do 
Do you think McDougal will backpedal today? I, I would like some explanation of it. You know? Why add sugar to smoothies? Do it for a week and see what fucking happens to your life quality. Do you have more energy? I'm not any stimulants right now. I'm on nothing. Full natty bra. I am carved to the tilt up. You know, I feel so good. I was just killing the fruit last few days. Having the sugar. You know, just getting carved up, getting it done, man. Just fucking want to launch into shit. The trouble, the trouble comes with mixing... Um, Sugars and fats, right? No, the trouble comes from the fats, man. Fat paralyzes insulin. Do a webinar. If anyone wants to set it up, me and McDougal, I won't swear, but me and McDougal, let's do a fucking webinar. McDougal would not do that, man. I would, I would cook McDougal's oats on that fucking webinar, man. He would never, ever, ever do a webinar. He refuses to mention my name anytime, even though, I've promoted him more than anyone ever has on the internet, on YouTube, etc. Who's not financially affiliated with him. Alright? So I would do the webinar, boom. McDougal wouldn't do it because his oats would get cooked. Alright? I think it would be great if we did the webinar, do it with respect, and just to help the community and the confusion. And I'd ask McDougal the questions I'd ask him. This is why I wouldn't do the McDougal with we wouldn't do it with him. I would say. Have you ever met anyone where you'd put your life on it that they were fat from eating fruit? You'd actually put your life on it. That's the one question. And the next question would be, why do you let people think sugar is bad with Sprite, but then you say sugar isn't bad, but you make that little overt glitch at me or other sugar promoters? Next question would be, why do you still eat meat and how often do you honestly eat it, John? You know, there are three questions I'd ask him, and that's why he would never ever do a webinar with me. You know, ever, which is sad. It's fucking sad. I'll do a webinar of anyone who has, you know, some legit debate or argument out there. Is it possible for PK people... What? What's a PKU? What is a PKU? I don't, I don't know what PK is. God also made opium. That crap is bad for exhaust. That's right. And vegan gains. <laughs> oh, now vegan gains is doing a diet. <laughs> That's another video. Vegan guys, vegan gains' diet advice is so shit. He has to fucking starve himself to get lean. All right. The Duran writer doesn't know anything about weight loss. I don't have to fucking starve myself. I don't do a crazy amount of training. And here's the thing. According to McDougal, all those people, all the McDougals out there, exercise doesn't contribute to any weight loss. You can't burn more calories than that at all. So there's a lot of contradiction going on here. It is a fucking hilarious one. You know. I'm just, it's just crazy. If I ate white sugar just for one week, I would look like a fucking meth addict more than I am now. I wouldn't do it. I'd lose too much weight. Not to mention I'd miss eating rice and all the yummy vegan foods I get to eat every day. He was bulking, now he's cutting. No, 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 bullshit. There's bulking is fucking binging because you've just been starving, aka cutting. All right? In models, we call it binging, starving. Bodybuilders, we call it bulking, cutting. Bullshit. He's starving himself and he'll fucking blow out again and then he'll want more starving, you know? Why do most cyclists not know about gear ratios? People just, we're dumb. We're dumb hu humans. We're dumb humans. If I eat refined sugar, I get a blood sugar chock. What's a, what's a blood sugar chock? And get dead tired. Bro, you're eating too much fat. You're not going to bed early enough. And you're eating too late in the day. You need to eat early in the morning. Get, get your metabolism ramp and drink more water. 
So you're piecing clear two, three hours. So there we go. That is the video for the day. 30 minutes. I can't believe it. what McDougal just said. Can If I'm wrong, I apologise. I'll do another video about it. Who wants to organise a webinar with... Give it a thumbs up. Let me see a webinar with McDougal. It won't happen. I'll, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be down for it, but it won't happen. Um, you know. What did you last time? What's that? What did you last time? Just about McDougal says... You might find this funny. McDougal said... Um, Contrary to receive wisdom, humans tend to burn the same number of calories regardless of how physically active they are. So that means you can go and ride for 400 k's a day, you won't burn any more calories than you would have burned that day if you laid and sat on the sofa. That's a lie. Satoya said that's a lie. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is a lie. That's absolute rubbish show. But um, it's crazy. Anyway, mm. I'm going to wrap that one up. Where am I staying at CM? I don't know. I don't know. When am I getting there? I don't know. But I'll be there June 1st. Um, oh, my head hurts. So you just stay wherever you want in Chiang Mai. You know? It's, uh, thousands, literally thousands of accommodation options. If you don't like one place, go to the next place. Never book in advance. If you book in advance to a place you don't know, then you risk getting to a place you're going to hate. So I'll turn up, check out what I like, boom, grab it. All right? That's my tip. Gonna try veggie and fruit juicing for a week. Good, Glenda, because you're gonna gain a lot of weight afterwards. You're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna gain a lot of weight, metabolic damage. So I hope you want to gain some weight and sl have a sluggish metabolism. Please look at the PKU people. I looked it up. That's pretty good. Low protein diet. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> um, fruit versus oatmeal for breakfast. Fruit for the win. Oatmeal's gluggy. Oatmeal's more for dinner, in my opinion. Boom. All right. Why does Luxembourg produce so many cyclists? Not as much as Adelaide does. Doyster tip pollution is really bad with all the buses and song towers. That's why I fucking tell people, carb the fuck up. Burn fat, not oil. Do it. Fuck your car off. Use it minimal. Done.